Welcome to another episode of Don't Panic Geocacher. My name is Aryan and I go by Waterfan5 on the geocaching.com website. And I'm here to tell you about a recent technique that I've seen quite a bit used for mystery caches that I would like to share with how it can help you solve those as well as how to create a puzzle yourself. Call it Do You See It Now? Because once you see it, it's very hard to unsee. You may have seen this picture on social media or on the internet somewhere and it has a hidden word in there. Now with all of these they're actually easier to see on the phone. A lot of puzzles are almost impossible to solve on the phone but this one is actually easier. And on the computer you can simulate that by either zooming out, so making the image smaller, or by going further away and you might be able to see what is hidden. So I'll simulate that and I kind of like made the image smaller and now you can clearly see the word away hidden inside of it. And now once you see it, you can kind of see it in the bigger picture as well. You can see how the dress is being used to make the E and the bag is kind of like used to make the third open leg of the E. So this is one example. And of course you can now utilize that for mystery caches as well. And I've seen of course people do that. So uh, caches, most cases need numbers. And you can hide a limited set of numbers in this way. So this forest has actually three numbers hidden inside of it. And you might be able to see it right away. I kept it relatively easy. Um, but if I make it smaller, it becomes that more and more obvious. 7, 0, 9. And you can see it in the big picture as well. 7, 0, and 9. And kind of like the trees and the branches kind of make the numbers. But it can actually be quite difficult depending on the difficulty setting. So this one is actually um, one that I created that's much harder to see. And somebody can use the same technique that would make it much harder and make it much ha harder to see. And you have to stare at it and really find it. Again, the same techniques of zooming out and um, looking at it. You can kind of see the numbers right here. 7, a 3 and a 1. But there might certainly be some guessing involved because the three also could be an eight. So a geo checker is certainly sometimes needed to get the final numbers out of there. But you see it, it's still hidden in there, but much more disguised. Of course, it doesn't have to be a number. There's a variety of checkers that allow keywords. So you can also hide an object or an animal, for example, in this picture. So it says, find the animal in the image. Now, again, I made it quite obvious for this video, but you can make it much harder if you wanted to. But if you look at the outline, you can now see the bull's head right here with the nose right um, being part of what the car is. So here's the dots of the nose. So now with the 32 checker, for example, you can ask people for the word bull or the word cow or uh, something like that to get the coordinates. So why is this showing up recently? Because it is all done through AI and with new AI technology. Uh, Hugging Face is one of the websites that allows you to experiment with this for free. It uses a technology or a tech uh, called Illusion Diffusion to generate these images. And you can hide a limited set of information. And there's not, if you do too much, it becomes either too easy or too difficult. Um, so typically like three numbers or a very generic image is all you need to see. And um, I'll post a link in the notes as well. But if you uh, have a black and white image that is highly recommended, makes it easier, um, pretty a thousand by a thousand pixels. And for example, you make it in paint or you download one of the internet. And now you can give the description and how difficult you want it to be. And it takes about five minutes to generate one. There's typically a queue. So that takes majority of the time. And then you may have to do it multiple times till you get an image that you like in the setting that you like. So here is what the website looks like. So here you see the picture that I uploaded. So very basic black and white image, 709. I gave a description, medieval village scene with a castle in the distance. So that is what it made out of it. And now the numbers 7, 0 and 9 are in this case quite obvious, hidden, because I put the number quite high, close to 1. If you put it more towards 0 0.8, 0 0.9, it becomes harder. 
but it all depends on the image and the description that you give and some other parameters. So that's why you may have to play around with it till you get one that feels disguised enough. But pretty easy to generate, the website pretty much does everything for you, you just have to play with it a few times to uh, get it right. So that was the episode for today, I hope you enjoyed it, uh, please like the episode uh, if you enjoyed it and uh, feel free to subscribe, that way you get updated on new images and new videos and new techniques to solve mystery caches. If you want to contact me, you can leave a comment, you can contact me on the geocaching.com website or you can send me an email at geocacher.watervent5 at gmail.com. Thank you very much for listening and watching. <laughs>